Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Writer, and we are back with another unboxing video. This one's coming from Sol Muller, Singularity Sons, or Sons of Singularity, Lakewood, New Jersey. So, I'm pretty certain I know what this is. This is uh, from a Kickstarter. Uh, I'm not sure when, not terribly long ago. And uh, I think I've already gotten all the PDF documents and products that I'm supposed to from it. So, let's see what we, goodness. Okay, this looks like a receipt, so let's get rid of that first. And we have got Journal de Doctrine, uh, uh, hmm. Journal Indocine, Volume 2. Journal Indocine Volume 1. So you were able to order the second volume uh, if you had been a part of Kickstarter for the first volume. So I said, yes, please. So these are for Call of Cthulhu through Sons of Singularity. They, uh, oh, that's actually not part of the book. That's, that's taped on. Uh, is there one on this one? There's one on that one in a different spot. Let's see what we got. Friends, Indo... French Indochina, the jewel of the French Empire, witnessed a time of extreme turmoil and political foment in the first half of the 20th century. As foreign imperialists struggled to maintain their precarious grip on the region, the people of the land worked to overthrow their tormentors. While the world seethed with conflict and change, hidden entities from far off in time and space took root in the jungles, gaining footholds on the beaches and found supplicants in the cities. Some of these entities offered the temptation of enlightenment and power to those who could free their eldritch secrets. Some of these entities offered their supplicants great destructive powers. Journal Doctrine, uh, Journal de Indochine, I've been mispronouncing that the whole time, is a set of scenarios and campaign resources for Call of Cthulhu 7th edition role-playing game set in French colonial Vietnam circa 1925 to 1955. All right, let's see what the back of this one is. Oh, it's different, it's different. So we'll take a quick look at Journal Dindokin. I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, volume 1 looks like it is full color. Oh, smells good. Oh, wow. I love the smell of a newly printed book. <clears throat> nice. Investigator. Very nice paper, very solid. Handouts, lore sheets, and pre-gen characters from Journal Doctrine can be downloaded from uh, Drive Through RPG at this link. Bling. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so we got an introduction, historical. Oh darn it! I just bumped the camera. Historical overview, origins of the Chinese influence, European colonization, rubber plantations in French Indochina, seeds of revolution. Post-World War II power vacuum. Siege of Dinping Fu. Oh, that's a beautiful map. That is very nice. Minorities in Vietnam. Uh, lore, sheets, lore sheet rules for Call of Cthulhu. Uh, note, Keeper cannot investigate or take any particular lore sheet. Lore sheets? What are lore sheets? Oh, interesting. These are like, is that a background thing? The fertile red lands of... Cochin, uh, Cochin, China. Patrick Chandler. Background. So here are the scenarios. So that's some background. And then boom, we've got our scenarios. Let's take a look at the table of contents real quick. So um, the fertile red lands of Cochin, China. Cochin, China? Cochin, China? Black Sea Rising. OSS Player Faction. Expedition Le Monde, The Lost City of Yan Ho. Uh, Bin Zuyen and Organized Crime Faction. Operation Desperado, Service de Documentre, uh, Service de Documentation, Exterior et de, et de Contra Espinols, Red Napoleon's Vanguard. So we got one, two, three, four, four very extensive scenarios, it looks like. Viet Minh player factions and some appendices. Uh, very cool. The only thing that I would I would have suggested was actually putting some, a little a little blurb about each scenario on the back. Uh, the river runs through it. The plantation. I'm hoping these are good. I, I've needed some information on, well, mostly China, but this should be interesting. Year one, rumble in the jungle. Oof. We're not quite far enough away to get a good picture. I'm trying to center it and not get too much glare. 
Flora of the Cosmos. Interesting, nice hand. Oh, handouts, nice art. I hope these are good. Oh, character sheets. Partial character sheets. Uh, it's got equipment. The only thing they don't have on it uh, is like traits and that kind of stuff. So players can have Black Sea Rising. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice piece of art. I like that. Ooh, very sweet weapons lists. Very very cool. So oh, that's a neat little way of doing it. The Type 14 Nembu. That's I believe. I'm not sure if that's in Japanese. Okay. I gotta speed this up. It's gonna be long. Katba Island. This is a part of the world I know very little about. I did some research for a scenario I set during the Vietnam War, but it was pretty rudimentary. Oh my God. The Hounds of Ten Dollars. Somebody's driving by. OSS Player Faction. Expedition Le Mans. Lost City of the Anho. It's nice art. I'm not... Yeah, and it's it's double. I, I'm not a fan of, like, triple... <clears throat> triple column. I like the double column, though. There's a lot of, a lot of blank spaces. But I guess what it really, what, what really, what it really boils down to is the quality of the, uh, of the writing. I mean, the, how interesting, how good are these stories? Here's our NPC, our pregens. Bianzun, an organized crime faction, Operation Desperado. Oops, let's not, let's get a good look at this. There's a lot here. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for the, um, the Kickstarter, but, uh, this, this is extensive. I mean, you're talking over 200 pages. Ooh, wow. April 15th, 1954. So that's during the Korean War, I think. I'm not as familiar. Okay, the Red Napoleon, Red Napoleon's Vanguard. I think that's our third scenario, maybe. Drop some Natasha inside the bunker. And we've got some more pregens. What is this? Pregen lore sheets. Hold on. Hmm. I think the lore might be the uh, background and traits and stuff like that, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, ha I haven't read this. Here's our acknowledgments. No index, but that's okay. Okay, let's check out the other one. Journal. Dindochin. Dindochin? Din. Journal Din. Din. No, I don't know. Vietnam and the surrounding region witnessed a time of extreme turmoil and political front for months during the 20th century. Many great RPG supplements have addressed the Vietnam War, American War, but few have explored the period of time immediately preceding American entanglement. In Journal Ding Do Ding, we present a set of scenarios for the Call of Duty 7th edition role-playing game set in the French colonial Vietnam, circa 1925 to 1955. In this second volume, we continue to explore historical and morally ambiguous stories with a unique look crafty and twist. We've also included in this supplement valuable campaign resources, including details on the French Foreign Legion and other French military forces, and a collection of narrative frameworks to help an enterprising keeper build out an exciting and authentic campaign. Oh, yikes. Ah. I was reaching there, and I screwed up everything. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> so, you've seen behind the curtain. Ignore the feet. Uh, all right. To help the Enterprising Keeper build out an exciting and authentic campaign to explore ancient mythos horrors. All right. So, let's take a look. That's a nice cover. And again, very heavy book. The first book was 234 pages. That's that's a lot. Uh, the second book is 210. That's interesting. Let's move this book over so we can get more centered uh, here. Uh, contents. We got uh, the French Foreign Legion Handbook, La Roulette, The Fate of Caon, Parchments of Tam, Operation Grass Cutter, Narrative Frameworks, and Acknowledgements. So, French Foreign Legion Handbook. That's kind of cool. 
history of the Foreign Legion, other key members of the French Foreign Legion factions, campaign, early history, history of the Legion in Indochina. So it's focusing on Indochina, uh, which is fine. I mean, that's what they're focusing on. Uh, Foreign Legion scenario hooks, other French factions, L'Armée d'Alaire, French Air Force. Huh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Uh, La Paris, La Paratroopers, uh, units. French Navy, La Royale. There's a lot of good information here. Here's La Roulette. This is our first scenario. Uh, you know what? I should have been looking. I wish it said right in the intro when it takes place. It looks like this is 1950. 1949. I like that they have the dates up here. This is this is interesting layout. This is interesting how they put this together. Okay, we need to work. We need to speed this up a bit. Uh, this is another going to be another long one, I'm afraid. La roulette. Now this is all in English. Uh, a lot of the uh, some of these these headers are in French, which is cool. Here's our character sheets, some pregens. We got the face of. Kaon or Saon, I'm not certain. Uh, this has information for 1925, Crescent Islands. Hmm, that's interesting. Dreams, we're still getting some glare. I, I'm sorry about that. I'm looking into getting a book, uh, like a, a book stand, so I can then up, put them upright. You're gonna need a bigger boat. The Wreck of the Beautiful Sunrise. All right, deck plans. You got some deck plans for me? Come on, come on, come on, guys. If you're doing, dealing with a lot of ships and boats, you should have some deck plans. Deus Ex Oceana. Additional creature stats. Oh, no deck plans. I'm disappointed. If they're somewhere else in the book, I will rescind that. Oh, that's a cool picture. I like that. Parchments of Tan. Prologue. These guys look like are these Japanese troops? Okay. Wasn't sure. Ooh, nice. Hue. City of Villages. Soup Kitchen, the Underground Dojo. Dojo Aftermath, Mr. Long's apartment. French residence. <clears throat> Grand Hotel. Uh Masson's residence. Oh, nice. I've used pictures like this. This is, uh, I believe that's a traditional Japanese, like, uh, set up for a, a, for a middle, for a house. Min Mang's Tomb. Operation Bright Moon, optional. The Viet Minh Cell in Hue, also optional. Handouts, nice. Ooh. We've got our pregens. Operation Grass Cutter. Early 1944, aircraft hangar of the I-400 submarine. Huh, interesting. The briefing, something fishy. I like all of the actual um, air, um, the photographs, that's very cool. Um, so you are infected, oh no, that doesn't sound good. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got a couple of aircraft there. Um, oops. Better stat it out. The hidden dockyard. Uh, we have a submarine uh, with an overview and a and side plans. That is a big, big submarine. Epilogues, equipment lists, uh, more pregens, narrative frameworks, the penal colony, the scepter and the bell, rice liquor, the storming of Ba Din, and acknowledgments, these would be the patrons, and there you have it. So, that is journal, uh, <laughs> I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm not even going to bother. So, um, that's both of them. Uh, uh, if there, I'm not sure where you can buy these. I'll look up on the Sons of Singularity website. We'll see. And if there is, I'll put a link in the description below. And that's it. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. 
As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to you all next time.